back to Pokemon Sapphire. Um, so, in the last episode, we got our first Pokemon, which is a Trico, and we got Trico up to level 7, and so now we're about to battle May and get our first trainer battle underway. I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like. So here's the Pokemon we've all been waiting for. It's a Torchic. So now the thing about this Pokemon, um, it's a fire type. Trico is a grass type. And what do you know? Fire burns grass. So for us to succeed later on when Torchic finally learns some fire type moves, I almost said grass moves, so that would be a little weird for a fire type. Um, so here we won. Um, so we'll need to go about finding a water type Pokemon to counterattack Torchic's fire type moves. Well, it'll be evolved next time we battle May, but anyway, that's not the point right now. So we've just defeated Torchic. And we got Trico up to level 8. And yeah, almost up to level 9. Wow, that's great, SK! You're pretty good! So I get 300 Poké Dollars from her. I think I know why my dad has an eye up here now. I mean, you just got that Pokémon, but it already likes you. You might be able to befriend any kind of Pokémon easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. My Trico actually did pretty well in that battle. How much health does it still have? 15, wow. It's actually quite a lot. Um, I'm just gonna head straight down. It's okay over here! Let's hurry home! This is the thing with every Pokemon game. You have to head back home at the start at one point. Oops. Oh, hi, SK. I heard you beat May on your first try. That's excellent. May's been helping with my research for a long time. May has an extensive history as a trainer already. Here, SK, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. Ouch. I knocked my desk. The Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid May goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon and records its starter in the Pokedex, why, May looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Oh wow, SK, you got a Pokedex too. That's great, just like me. I've got something for you too. And now we get some Pokeballs. I think we get five, ten. Something like that. Um. Oh, Pokemon bag. Um, yeah, I got five. And so now we come across our mother and we get the running shoes. Wait, SK! SK, SK, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon! You got it from Professor Birch! How nice! You're your father's child, alright. You look good together with Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. They'll put a zip in your step. It's okay, the, those shoes came with instructions. We can just skip this because I don't really need the instructions because I already know how to do it. To think that you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But please be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. Go on, go get them, honey. So now we can run! Yay! We can move a lot faster now. Wow, we missed <laughs> an entire... Um, barrage of Pokemon files. 
Oops. I wanted to catch that thing, but anyway. Yes, I called it a thing. I wanna hope I wonder if I can find a low tide in here. No, it's Bridgiana. Level 4, that's actually pretty good out here. Yeah, I think one more should do it. Yes. So now, we are going to catch our first Pokemon. And it'll be a Poochiana, which also starts with P. And well, what do you know? It was the first Pokemon we came across. It was chasing Professor Birch, remember that? Last episode? Anyway. So now, Poochiana's data has been added to the Pokedex. Poochiana is an omnivore. It will eat anything. A distinguishing feature is how large its fangs are compared to its body. Its poke uh, this Pokemon tries to intimidate its foes by making the hair on its tail bristle out. So now, we have two Pokemon. Oh, here's another... Now we start getting trainer battles. Um, so yeah, usually the parts where I fail are trainer battles, so... Yeah. Because they usually have pretty good Pokemon, especially in a weak area. seem to do pretty good. Actually, I think I should be using Absorb, getting myself some more health. Um, yeah, it's good. So we win, and he lost. I'm gonna go back and heal my Pokemon a bit more. So now we've got two Pokemon there instead of one. And now out we go into Route 102 again. And now, you go and battle another guy. The weird thing is that most of the guys at the start of the game have all bug Pokemon. So you may not think that's weird, but... It's not weird, but it actually does get a little annoying because all you're seeing are bugs. Um, they're pretty weak too, but I don't see how they can win with all these things. And look, he's got another worm pool. Yeah, one hit care. That's good. Almost a level 10. could actually get Trico to evolve sometime soon. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Poochiana out in front and I'm going to do a bit of training with Poochiana. <laughs> <laughs> this will be a funny battle. Poochiana versus Poochiana. Oh no! Critical hit. It's not gonna be good. Don't give me another critical hit. I'm really taking a risk here. Okay, that's it. 
Now, the good thing with switching out like this is, um, both Pokemon get the experience. And I'm just gonna heal myself up a bit. Yeah, both Pokemon get the experience. However, not that much though. As you can see, I probably would have gotten, yeah, I would have gotten 30 experience points, but yeah, it gets split up between the Pokemon. Ooh, a low tad. That'll be good for later on, as I said with when Torchic learns fire type moves, it'll be nice to have a water type Pokemon with us. However, Lotad is a water grass type Pokemon, so fire won't do not very effective. It'll probably just do regular damage and whoa. I almost defeated that Lotad, I'm lucky. Um So now we're gonna go catch this thing. And actually, Lytag can be pretty helpful later on in the game. Because it can learn Surf, which is a really good water type move, actually. Um, so now, Lytag's in our Pokedex. So, Lytag is said to have dwelled on land before. However, uh, this Pokemon is thought to have returned to water because the leaf on its head grew large and heavy. It now lives by floating atop the water. So now, um, we've come to the end of this episode of Pokemon so far. We'll be back later. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be back in a bit.